Sorry, it's you, Zask. Huh? And where's Steve? Today was a day that I would be narrating a video. As you can see, Kib is sitting in Steve's chair of lost wishes because he's not here. He hasn't been here for a couple days. Says he's sick. I don't buy it. I mean, shit, I've been sick for 13 days and I'm here. Bummed out. What's up, man? Well, Steve just hasn't been at work for a couple days and, like, I've been doing thinking and he hasn't been killing it, being our friend very much. I hear ya. I mean, I think that he's been the way that he is right now for about a year. I don't know if I can be here when he's... Not here. Just want to be where my friends at. I too wish to be with my friends at all times, but that's because I'm violently codependent. I had to reassure kid, you know, look, we're doing the best thing that we could do. Look, we're doing the best thing that we could do. You're doing the best thing you could do, man. You know, we're here, so. we're working, we're figuring it out. What if we fire him and replace his ass? Replace, replace him with him someone with amazing? Someone dope. We'll finally get somebody like help us, you know, ideas, uh, just the logistics of running all this shit, you know, somebody to help, you know, like a producer. What? Maybe it'll be like a learning lesson for him, you know? Wait, yeah. wait, wait. That's a great idea. Boom. The whole team was down. We've been on our own with no leadership since summer 07, and we barely got to where we are. I hate to say it, but if Steve isn't going to be here when he's sick and possibly dead, then we got to do what's right for the whole team. Replace him. Bruce. Hey. Yeah. Hi. What? Sorry, I'm jittery from all the caffeine. Yeah, you had about um, seven Adderall. What are too. you doing? I did. That's seven. What am I doing? I'm working. Have you ever taken 70 milligrams of Adderall? That's 70. Seven zero. Still hasn't worn off. So we have been thinking. You know, next time you're split, you could have just slacked me. Or like been nice about it and asked me if you wanted to talk to me. Well, we thought we'd just spook you. Are you free? Yes. But, yes. Okay, cool. We had an idea. Mm -hmm. A little Tell thing him. to kind of help, uh -huh. you know, with. Uh -huh. Productivity, helping support us to get a producer. You're a producer. You're a producer. Jamie and Mimi, I believe, are producers as well. Oh, you're a producer. He's a producer. I'm a producer. Figure it out, Bruce. I didn't ask for the history of the business. I'm sorry, I haven't eaten in 36 hours because of the Adderall. The go-getter. Wacky go-getter who does narration. That's when supposed, supposed to be you guys. To. Steve, if you're out there and you're watching, I want you to know that comment wasn't directed towards you. It was a general task that your replacement would be doing once we fire your thick ass. Somebody does narration when they're supposed to. Yeah. None yeah. of you do that. Well, none of us have to, except for one, he's not one here. He's not here. No, that's true. Uh, hey, Steve, me again. That comment was directed towards you. Can we hire someone on? Absolutely not. Okay. Look no, at 80. No. Okay. 80 to 100,000 base. Do you want a who? You want to pay a what? Yeah. No, we don't. Oh, we <laughs> cannot do that. We cannot. The only way you could do it is wholesale trade them. Ah, uh, yes. Horsey trade them. Trade a horse for their services straight up like the old days. For example, if you didn't want Steve anymore, you could trade Steve in for well, a rock. Wholesale. And that would work. I and you could pay the rock what Steve gets paid. The rock. I used the rock. No, no, no. A rock. Probably very expensive. No, a rock. A movie. No, a rock. Last year, I think the rock was the highest paid actor in Hollywood. That's yeah, true. I don't know if we can afford the rock. Just find someone else. Deal. Who do we replace? Who are you shaking? Here, shake his hand. No, I'm shaking your Deal. hand. Deal. I put out my feelers and I messaged over a hundred people, but this night it was dark and stormy. I felt an evil presence fill the dark Los Angeles night, but we had work to do. James. Um, yeah. You were, you zoned out there for a good while. I did, sorry, I was listening to Mockingbird by Eminem on the way over. <laughs> kind of put me in a mood. Unfortunately, of the hundreds of people that we messaged, one person got back to us. Shorty Miller. Shorty Miller from Smosh. She's the last person I thought would respond, but here we are outside of her shantytown bungalow. I, I even printed up this, uh, Employment contract. Yeah, we'll, we'll have her sign it and then we'll sit down. We'll do an interview. Then we'll right. do like a hangout, kind of see how she is, you know, off the grid. Kid. Oh my God, dude. I'm so sorry. I listened to Mockingbird on the way here and then put me in a weird mid. So the hangout's important, but the first thing we need to do is make sure Tis, tis the witch able. Wow, that's kind of a harsh thing to say, Kib. She's a very nice person, if I remember correctly. Cause tis she's not. We wrap a rope around her, we f throw cast her into the eternal fire, dude. Oh, Kib thinks she's actually a witch. Well, he'll figure it out. He always does. Are you mad or something? I'm a little bit mad at Steve for just letting us down, dude. We need to replace him, but it's getting to me. I you know, know, I just haven't talked to him about it, so. Maybe you should. But yeah, we'll save that for later. I just thought about um having a Jolly Rancher on the, on the way back. Let's go do the- <laughs> Fuck, that sounds amazing actually. Okay, time to interview Courtney Miller. It's nice to meet you. Can I call you Corey? Um, that's my mom's name. Surely. James. Hi. A formal, a formal uh, version of James. You worked on SourceFed. Well, it was a production assistant actually, you not a personal assistant. So that's PA. I have um, here for you, just real quick, get the formalities out of the way. What? That's you. That's you. That's you, Courtney. You don't have to read it or anything. It's in Russian as well. Yeah, why um, Why does it, do you speak Ru Russian? It's actually just so that you can't read it right now, but if you, you can go ahead and sign oh, it. Oh, it's already signed. 
I forged that one, but we definitely got to get. We need a to get second. your signature. It's kind of like an NDA mm. uh, meets a CIA, yeah. where it's like most of it's going to be redacted, which is why it's in Russian, so we don't have to draw black lines on it. You <clears> kind of <throat> just aren't going to know what it says. Do you read Russian? Um, no, no, I. Mm. Yikes. That's exactly the answer I was looking for. She was off to a pretty good start, but honestly, she wasn't off to a really great start. So just on top of the the forge. Yes, yeah. but don't press too hard because the paper's wet now, so it's gonna puncture. I actually have a, a counter contract. Uh, just you know, we gotta people gotta look out for yourselves well, out here. It's important no, to. No, I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and say I don't feel comfortable signing anything without my lawyer. I'll sign it. I'll sign it. Okay. I also. Well, I'm actually Kip's lawyer, so I should probably take a look at it. Okay. There's also um, a few things uh, that I need in my working conditions. I had no clue what the contract was saying. It might as well have been in fucking Russian. I need all like all my Ubers, all my makeup purchases, clothing purchases, covered. You know, just like the basics. Um, lunch, dinner. You guys do catering to your office, right? Like that's pretty. We have Tori. So here's the thing. You're gonna be taking over for Steve. He was kind of grandfathered in as a boss, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm, he's not mm -hmm. a boss because mm -hmm. he has the same title as we do. Cool, so like I'll be like, you guys are like making me like your boss. Nope. Steve has been, he dropped the ball and we had to fire him. We had to let him go because he just wasn't the man he wasn't, we needed he, he wasn't team. in work today. So now we need mm. you to, to be his role, but we want to control you. We need her to run this shit show. We need her to fully, entirely make everything happen, but we still keep all the power. And at this point, I still wasn't sure if she could do it. I had to give her a narration test. Say you were watching a scene um, where Kib had to shovel a pile of shit from a pig and he accidentally fell into the pile of shit that he was yeah, shoveling. Yeah, yeah. What, what would you say over that? That video comes out next week, so. <clears throat> Sorry. Sorry, I'm like fighting off. Okay. You're sick? I just woke up feeling kind of weak this morning. Um, you're probably wondering how Kib um, fell in pig shit while well, I'm here to tell you the, uh, the story today. Cool, that's actually, that was really good. Wow, that sounded exactly like Steve in every way, right down to the girly high-pitched voice. Maybe this could work. Kib had an idea too, find out if she's on the same mental wavelength as us. You, me, and James, we go get some ice cream flavor. What do you get? James gets strawberry, I get strawberry. You get? A vanilla? Strawberry. Oh. We require a certain level of intelligence, and he even kind of like, you know, led you into that one by saying that we both get strawberry, so kind of like the obvious answer is strawberry. Did you hear what James said? About the ice cream? Yes. Jesus Christ, it's really not that hard. Kib was feeding her the line to say about about the ice cream. He gets strawberry, I get strawberry, so obviously she should get ice cream that's strawberry flavored. Alright, whatever. First part of the interview was over, and she scored four out of a hundred. Part two was the pressure cooker. Another one of the main kind of jobs that Steve has, he is kind of like smelly. He wears flip-flops every day and doesn't clip his toenails and they're dirty. And he has a mustache that oh. he's been growing. I'm sorry, I can't grow a mustache. Do you... It's tricky. It's okay. Oh, that's tricky? I'll tell you what's tricky. Trying to find the perfect person to replace not only our professional peer, but also our best friend? It's a task that not many people could do, and I'm trying here, okay, but it's it's difficult. I just, I thought you guys were interested in me as a person, not trying to... We I are, we are, but I we're just trying to fill the gap. I just, I think I have my own value, like my own talents, and like, I think, I I personally think I smell pretty good, and I don't really want to make changes like, well, oh, I'm not going to wear flip-flops just because Steve wore, wore flip-flops, so... Hmm. She was refusing to sell out and do everything he said. Admirable. She'd make a good soldier. Courtney, I'm going to give you a chance right now, okay? Give me three reasons why we should hire you. I can produce shows. I've developed... <laughs> I can draw. My my mom worked. My grandmother worked for Disney. Well, your mom or your grandmother? Which is it? It was my grandmother. Sorry, I'm very flustered right now. Is it like, is this a job interview or do I it's already have this job? Job interview, Courtney. Listen. Yeah. Oh my gosh, she's freaking out. Look at her. She's so mad right now. I worked for Smosh. Okay, heard of it. Heard of it. You know what we we're under? We're under Defy Media, and they're a cutthroat company, <laughs> and they made. Are you trying to get behind my fridge? You're freaking me I'm out. Behind the kitchen. Listen, kitchen. I'm trying to make my way. Making my way downtown, moving past, and I'm homebound. Courtney, I'm gonna give you one last freaking shot. Tell me a special talent, something that will blow us away. I have boobs. Do you actually want to be a part of this? Holy shit! I didn't even think of that. We could easily use her in every thumbnail like we do with Nat. We could have her in every thumbnail. Well, she just got no goddamn talents. I have a, uh, another room if you guys need to like talk. No, We're talking talk shit about private. Did Courtney. you want to go there? No, plug your ears. And sing a song. No, 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 no. 
So I just don't know if she has what to what do what it takes. I think we're going to need a second round interview sometime. <coughs> Take it out of your I'm good now. Oh. No, Courtney, I think we're good now. Unfortunately, it's going to be a no from us, dog. Thank you so much. We will consider you and... I think we might do our second round interview at some yeah, point. Yeah, because we actually have a hunt, like a bunch of people to get through. Um, okay, yeah. so, okay, what the fuck did I just what? sign? Thank you so much, Corey. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. The wax is on your hands. Yeah. Um, you have two doors. Have, yeah. Have only one door. I don't know which. It's pretty cool, too. Don't. Don't. Um, I just, I don't understand what you want me to do on uh, this. So I just need to do uh, two hose waters. You press that, that button twice, and you press that and after that. Hose, hose water? Yeah. You do the water here out of a fucking hose? Two hose waters? Two and... hose waters, they're gonna go to table 24, Steve, please. What, what employee number am I? 4576. Steve, keep up. I'm keep going. Up.